Você que está aí ouvindo esse podcast e faz exercícios. Uh, sei que você provavelmente bebe só água para se recuperar. Mas você sabia que a água pode não ser o suficiente para hidratar nosso corpo? Seja durante ou após a atividade? Ainda bem que chegou o Gatorade Zero. Zero açúcares e com eletrólitos e vitaminas para te recuperar para a próxima rodada. Experimente o novo Gatorade Zero. What will we find in today's Thursday thrillers here on the Mutual Audio Network? A few baffling mysteries? Perhaps a touch of murder? Let's find out. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. 1910, a new west is dawning, bringing a future of telephones, cars, and new ways of doing. But there still rides a man of the old west, a lawman out to serve justice to those who need its help and to those who deserve its sharp sword. That lawman is Richard Wade, U.S. Marshal. This time, it's on a baffling trail, written for radio by Barry M. Putt Jr. Someone trespassed on my claim again last night. Them thieving outsiders wish they'd stay away. Yeah, but how do you stop them? I don't know. <laughs> Look, there's a stagecoach heading towards town. It's probably bringing more of them outsiders to mess with us. I've had enough of them. Let's teach him. All right. Colorado, here we are. Yes, I never realized traveling west would take so long. Well, at least these new stagecoaches make it faster, Pa. They certainly don't make it more comfortable. I know. You can feel every rock and stone involved. Hey, looks like a few men riding by on horseback. Oh, what was that? Oh, the men out there just poked me with a rotten lemon. Let me clean you up. Could you tell what they said? It's hard to understand. They don't want strangers coming here. We don't mean you any harm. That was uncalled for, young man. You need to stop or I'll... Easy there, Pa. Looks like they're leaving. Even so... We're almost to town. It's nice looking town. That it is. Uncle Thomas was very happy here. That's what he said. Why don't we get some supper over at the Carborundum there and then settle in at the hotel? All right. It's not very clean in here, is it? Hopefully the food's good. What will it be, men? A steak for me. Make that too. Medium rare, please. Coming up. Finally, we're here in town. We can relax and everything should be good. That would be great. Here you go. Two beers on the house. Thanks, but my son... I'm all grown up, Pa. I guess you are at that. It's hard to think of you that way sometimes. I'll be back when your food is ready. Drink up. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes, it is. You sure we brought enough money to keep us going for a while? Hear that? Yeah. There's no need to worry. You sure drank that fast. I was thirsty from the trip. I can understand that. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, uh, Luke, Luke! Is everything all right? Sir, I'm law enforcement. Do you mind if I take a look at him? Please do. I don't think it's anything serious. Just a mild fainting spell. Are you sure? Yep. I'm U.S. Marshal Richard Wade. This is my deputy, Harry Henderson. Nice to meet you. I wonder what made him pass out. My guess is something was put in his drink. With two free beers, I should have known something wasn't right. That's ridiculous. I'll get your food. You're not going anywhere. Open that pocket in your apron. How did you get my pouch? Oh, he's scheming for something, aren't you? You no good. There was nothing in that pouch but washers. Can't believe I was suckered by a greenhorn. I'm no greenhorn. Come on, you. We're going to see the sheriff. I need to get my son some help. I've seen people drugged like that before. He should be all right after a good night's sleep. Thank you. I don't understand why nothing was put in my drink. 
You probably just did it to your son's beer to divert your attention long enough to get your pouch. It looks less suspicious that way. That's pretty slick and mean. It is. The sheriff will see to it. That's good. What brings you to these parts? My late brother, Tom Burgess, he left the family some property. Ah, yes, Tom. He was a gentleman, and he rarely left his land. It's been abandoned for several years now, ever since his death. There's supposed to be a big payday on it. Is that so? It's true that when people strike gold around here, the color can be mighty good. This is ivory, a hoard of it from what he said. How'd he get it? According to his will, he accrued it over the years as payment from various business deals he'd had in Africa and Asia. People would ship it to him unexpectedly. He never knew what to do with it, so he just stored it somewhere. I see. You know, his house burnt down last year. I wasn't aware of that. Due to a brush fire. All that's left is the land. Hopefully the ivory's still there. Yep. Be careful out there. I will be. Do you need assistance getting your son to the hotel? I'd appreciate it. Certainly. He looks more peaked than most people I've seen in his condition. Why don't we bring him to the doctor before we go to the hotel? All right. Let's get him to his feet. Mr. Burgess's son has been knocked out since you brought him to the doctor yesterday. It's sad. Any developments on Monaghan? The sheriff said he isn't talking. I see. We have to let Burgess know. Let's get to it. Mr. Burgess, it's the marshal and deputy. Please, open up. Sir. It's barely 8.30. Maybe he's still sleeping. That's possible, but my knocking should have woke him. We need to make sure he's all right. Mr. Burgess? There he is, on the bed. Mr. Burgess. Oh, no. What? Look at his neck. Those marks. He's been strangled. Why? No one knew why he was here. Marshal, look at the door. What is it? The frame is clean. Not a scratch on it. That proves no one broke in. Let's look around. Everything appears to be in order. The shade on this window is down, but the window is wide open. I don't see why that's important. We're on the fourth floor. It's a straight drop down. Yes, but the saloon next door is less than ten feet away. The murderer could have catapulted himself over here. Then pulled the shade down and dropped to the street below? It's possible, but that doesn't tell us why Mr. Burgess was murdered. Maybe there's something here that will. I found Mr. Burgess's suitcase. What's inside? Just clothes. Poor guy. Wasn't even in town a day and all this happened. He sure is beat up. A bandage on his chest, that large plaster on his arm. Hmm... What's that? Where? Sticking out from underneath the plaster. It looks like a small map. What's it of? I think it's Tom Burgess's property. Look at all the notations. I wonder what they mean. I'm not sure. After we alert the sheriff about Burgess, let's head out there and look around. Maybe there's something that will clue us in to what's going on. All right. Mr. Burgess's land sure is beautiful. I'll say. Can you take out that map we found? Here you go. Thanks. This is where we are now. But what are those marks? They look like they could be caves. I didn't know there were any caves in these parts. A few. With such dense forests, they won't be easy to find. You think the ivory could be stored in one of them? Perhaps. This cave on the map here looks pretty close. Let's see if we can find it. Marshal, not so fast. It's hard to keep up with you in all this brush. All right, I'll slow down. How much ivory do you think there is? No one knows. Not even Burgess. Huh, you see that over there? Yes. It could be the opening to a cave. Let's take a closer look. Right. Ah, uh, it's just some down trees. Where's the main path? Over this way. Are you sure? Yep. I'm going to mark these trees so we know where we've been then. Where did you get that pencil? I found it on the floor in Burgess's room near the window. Why didn't you mention it then? It's just a pencil. I've never seen one that writes blue. They sell them in the general store. 
That's right across from the hotel, in the saloon. So it is. Burgess just got to town. He didn't even have a chance to do any shopping. What are you saying? Oh, here's the trail. Good. Now let's head back to town. Maybe the clerk at the general store will remember who bought it. All right. Oh, yes. I remember very clearly who I sold it to. Why is that? Because most folks don't buy specialty pencils like this with blue lead in them. Who bought it? One of them loafers that always bothers me. Do you know his name? Jim Welcome. There's something about him that makes me feel uneasy. Do you have any idea where he lives? No, but I see him coming out of the saloon a lot. Ask the bartender there. He might know. Thank you, ma'am. Jim Welcome? Who's asking? U.S. Marshal Richard Wade and his deputy. What do you want? We know you bought a pencil in the general's store yesterday. So? Where is it? How should I know? You bought it, didn't you? Yeah, but I only used it for a minute. Where? At the saloon. What happened to it, then? I don't know. What does it matter? It might be connected to a murder. What? That occurred in the hotel last night. I, I'm not mixed up in anything like that. Tell us what happened to the pencil, and we'll go. I put it down in the bar for a second. When I went to pick it up again, it was gone. Are you sure? Yes. If we find out that's not true, we'll be back. Come on, Harry. Well, we didn't really get anywhere with him. We weren't supposed to. What do you mean? When we were at the door, I noticed a shoe sticking out from under the kitchen table. So? It moved. Who do you think it was? I don't know. Hey, who's that coming out of Welcome's cabin? I've never seen him before. Me either. Do you have some paper? Yes. Well, take it out, along with that pencil. If anything comes in, let me know immediately. Hello, Sheriff. What's going on? Monahan escaped when we were transporting him to be arraigned. I just alerted the county. My men are out looking for him. I hope you catch him. We won't stop until we do. Do you know the man in this sketch? That's Baldy Sowers. Where'd you get this? I studied him when he was outside of Mr. Welcome's cabin this afternoon and drew it. He was hiding from us when we were there. and only came out after he thought we had left. Really? His not wanting to talk to us could mean he knows something about Burgess's death. It's possible. He's been in and out of trouble ever since he came to town. Could you come to the cabin with us and question him? He'd be more apt to give you information since you know him. I should be here in case my men catch Monahan. They can process him on their own, can't they? Of course they can. Then, please, come with us. It's important. All right, let's go. No one is answering. We've given them long enough. Let's get in there. They're gone. Look, over there behind that chair. It's that guy, welcome. He isn't moving. It looks like they had a fight, and Baldy finished him off in the process. What's that? The front door. Who's out there? No! Whoa! Did you see who it was? They were far off, but it looked like Baldy. Duck! He's out of control. Stand back. I almost got him. I I think that did it. Let's go see. Come on, let's go see. Baldy, if you're there, come out. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he ran off. Oh, my leg! Sheriff, are you all right? Don't worry about me. Get him. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, go. Just go. There he is! I missed! I'll, I'll follow him. Look after the sheriff. Yes, sir. Baldy, I don't know what you're involved in, but running will only make it worse on you. What's that? <laughs> Next time, bring a canoe, boys. You might actually stand a chance of catching me then. <laughs> so long. Luke, 
I'm glad to see you up and about. Yeah, sitting in this chair is hardly being up and about. It beats lying knocked out in bed for over a week. The doctor told me. I guess that's why my legs are so weak. You'll get your strength back. Soon. I can't believe what happened to my paw. As soon as we figure out who did it, we'll do everything to bring them to justice. Thank you. I heard about the escape and the sheriff getting shot. How is he? He's back in action. His men are out looking for Monahan. Good. It's a mighty nice piece of land you have. Doesn't mean much without Pa. I understand. There is the ivory. Well, who knows if it actually exists or if I can even find it. You will. I hope so. I'm going to look for it as soon as I'm well enough to leave this place. My deputy and I have found a map to the property and your father's things. We'll be glad to help you look for the ivory, if you like. I'd appreciate it. Good. We'll check in on you again next week. Get well soon, you hear? I'll try. Are you sure we should be on this road? It's the only major trail on your uncle's property, according to this map. I wish we could have waited for the marshal. I'm more than capable of helping you search. What's that? It sounds like a stagecoach. Why would it be out here on private property? I'm not sure. Let's take cover down there behind those trees. I can't see a thing through all these trees. I can. Well, can you see who got out of the coach? It looks like a coachman and that man, Baldy Sowers, I told you about. What are they doing? Looking at a map. That's impossible. My father was the only one who had a map of the property. How many copies did he have? I don't know. If one of those men killed your father, he could have found another map in your father's room. It's possible. But we didn't tell anyone why we were here. So how would they know about Did it you go this to way? begin with? I'm no, not sure. No, there's a faster way than that. How do you know? Can I see the map? No. Ugh, if you'd stop being so protective and let me see it, I could show you the quickest way to go. Well, all right. There, that's better. Now get in the coach. What? You heard me. He isn't going to. Get in. Can't we stop him? It's too late. How can he kill him like that? Hey, where'd he go? I don't see him anywhere. Let's get back to town. But? There's nothing more we can do here. We need to alert the sheriff. Marshal! Marshal! Luke, how did your search of the property go? Are you any closer to finding the ivory? We didn't get very far. Why not? There was an intruder. Who? Baldy Sowers. He was out there looking for something. And he had a map! Really? Did you follow him? We tried to, but we lost him. We need to get back there and search. Has Monahan been found yet? They're still looking for him. You want me to get a posse together? Nope. The sheriff's help will be enough. Stock up on ammunition while I get them. We'll meet back here in 20 minutes. This here was the last place we saw him. Thank you, Luke. For your safety, I want you to stay behind us. I appreciate you coming along, Sheriff. My pleasure. It's the least I can do with Monahan's trail going cold. He's probably out of the state by now. I hope he's caught soon enough. So do I. Say, look at those trees. It's a fire pit. Let's take a closer look. Hmm. These ashes are cold. Not all of them. Something doused this section here. Coffee, and it's still warm. And we're not far behind them. That's right. But who are them? The fire wouldn't be Baldy's doing. There must be others. Maybe they camped out here waiting for him. It's possible. Look, up there. A trail. I can't find it on the map. That's odd. Yes, but it's our best chance to find Baldy and anyone that's with him. Come on. We've been on this path for almost an hour now, and there hasn't been a sign of anyone. I saw some broken branches back there, so we must be heading in the right direction. I hope so. Let's keep going a little longer. Okay. Marshal, look! Do those trees! A cave. Let's check it out. Certainly. Not so fast, you two. First, we need to make sure it's safe. 
Nothing stirred. Good. Let's move in. What was that? It's Baldy! There he is, in the mouth of that cave. The ivory must be in there. Don't let him escape! We won't. Follow me, everyone. Hold it, Baldy. Someone's shooting at us from behind. It looks like Monahan. That's not good. Stay down. Now it's coming from that cliff up there. We're trapped. What do we do? Maybe the map can help. This path, near the ravine, it's our only chance to stay protected and circle back to catch them. All right. Where did that come from? The cave. I just saw someone else come out of it. Let's make our way over to that path. It's too risky. We might get hit. If we stay here, we'll be sitting ducks. We have to try. Come on. We made it. It's so narrow, we're going to fall. We can make it. But it's 300 foot drop. Don't think about it. Just keep moving. Look ahead. It's Monahan. Deputy, Sheriff, fire! Turn yourself in, Monahan. You're a dead man, Sheriff. He means business. You killed him! I didn't want to. He left me no choice. Come on, after them. Whoa, look. That's one mean grizzly. Huge, even. Baldy's getting away! We have to think about ourselves right now. Bears like this are unpredictable. If we're quiet, he might just leave. I don't know about that. Shh. Hey, is he? Shh. That was close. My leg! Darn that, Sheriff! Come on, keep up the pace! I need a second to stop bleeding. Move, or I'll shoot you dead right here. Come on, Baldy! Uh, I told you much when you signed on to this little venture that there was no room for lazy cusses. I know what you said, but that doesn't change the fact that- Oh! You killed him! What? He was holding us up. I'm not getting caught because of any of these guys. But! Move out or you're, you're next. What about the ivory? We'll go back for it after we take down the marshal and those other guys. Come on! Whoa! It's a bear! Don't leave us alone! Oh, oh, a gun! Go shoot, Kurt! Shoot! I got him in the chest! Ah! 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 That was awful! Yeah, where'd the bear go? I'm not sure. Come on, we have to catch Baldy. Huh? Oh no! It's the bear again! Please! Go! Go! Just go! What are you doing, Marshal? Come back! It has to be done. Uh, uh, oh, I, I got to reach my neck. There! Oh, oh, my arm! Get away from it, Marshal, before it's too late! That's some drop to the floor of the ravine. Yes, it is. You killed him. If I hadn't done it, he would have killed us. I suppose you're right, but still it was an awful sight to see. Of course. Marshal, your arm looks real bad. Let me wrap a couple handkerchiefs around it. That will protect it until we get back to town. All right. Thank you. Well, I appreciate your assistance there, Marshal. Baldy! Back up, please. We're at the edge of the cliff. <sighs> it's the only way I'll be able to get the ivory. How did you know about it? We didn't tell anyone. Well, you know, Jim Welcome and I overheard you and your father talk about it when we had lunch at the Carborundum. Our table was right above yours on the balcony. Oh. My pa didn't deserve to die. Well, if he'd given me the ivory, everything would have been fine. It was his. Uh, well, turning it over to me is a small price to pay for the chance to live here. That's extortion. I was going to let him keep the land. That was big of you. Well, yeah, until he threatened to have me arrested. When did that happen? Well, you know, after they brought you to the doctor, we had words. He stormed off to the hotel. I... 
saw him check in, and, you know, once he fell asleep, I shimmied over to his window from the saloon and t took care of him. I found a detailed map there with clues to where the ivory was in. It would have been easy to find if that coachman hadn't saw me leaving. Oh, uh, yeah, and then he snatched the map and threatened to turn me in if right then and there if I hadn't <laughs> helped him get the ivory. He wouldn't even consider a split or nothing. He just wanted it all to himself. I went along, but, you know, first chance I got, I squashed him. Nobody jerks me around. And Jim Welcome? <sighs> He's just an old coot. I told him and the rest of my associates that I had a map. The others were eager to help as long as I cut him in, but... Jim, he insisted I return the map. He thought we'd get a reward or something. We got into a fight over it. The others took off at that point, and, well, you know the rest. We certainly do. <laughs> now back up, all of you. I don't think so. You think I'm joking? Marshall. I'm going to take you down. Never. I'm going to shoot you. Uh, hey, uh, give me that off. gun. Get right in there. Get, go away. Get, get lost. Uh, give me back. I, 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 ah. <coughs> Marshall. I'm all right. What happened? He was about to shoot me, but I managed to turn the gun on him just as he was pulling the trigger. Oh, wow. I couldn't watch, but justice was served. Yep. Come on, let's check out that cave. That's the last one. How many crates does that make? Twenty-five. That's a lot of ivory. Certainly is. It fetched a good price. I was happy about that. It was wonderful of you to donate so much of the money to help improve this town. It's a beautiful place. Uncle Thomas liked it here. If the money can help make it safer and more hospitable, it's the least I can do in his memory. Well, on behalf of the town, it is appreciated. You're welcome. I'd better be off. See you in a few weeks. Have a safe trip. Now that everything's been settled, we can finally relax. Uh-huh. Hey, let's start by having a drink, shall we? Oh, bye. All right. As long as it's ginger ale. Make mine sarsaparilla. You got it. Come on, guys. Let's go. This was Richard Wade, U.S. Marshal, written by Barry M. Putt, Jr. Starring Reed Thompson as Marshal Richard Wade and James Anderson as Deputy Harry Henderson. Also in the cast was Joseph McGuire as Luke Burgess, Dave Johnson as Sheriff Lang, Dave Anderson as Baldy Sowers, Jim Galan as Ben Burgess, other parts played by Daryl Moffat, Bob Helling, Rick Rosini, Betsy Charnas, and Innocencio Valderrama. I'm your announcer, Ryan Barker. Sound design and dialogue editing, Jay Charles. Recording engineer, Lisa Fukuda. Recording technician, B. Kuntula. Production assistant, Robin Candelaria. Associate producer, Roberta Wiley. Directed and produced by Joseph C. McGuire. Recorded at KSVR Studios in Mount Vernon, Washington. This was a Radio Theater Project presentation. So, do you like comedy? If you do, then Friday Follies might be just the feed for you. From the Mutual Audio Network, every Friday we bring you a selection of hilarious audio drama. And you can find it wherever you find your podcasts. Just search for Friday Follies, or you could subscribe to the main Mutual Audio Network feed. It's up to you. Find us there. The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together.